here in the road. Looks like maybe some drywall. Maybe some other stuff. Some particle board. Oh, they're going to sweep it? Why don't they just let the traffic blow it around? It looks like cotton or something. Oh boy, this is backing up for real. The first time I've seen this, um, it's a Friday night and in uh, Baton Rouge there was a Taylor, thank you Taylor Swift, because I don't think so. Because I think it's only the sixth day. We're having issues with ours. We left out of there six days ago. Like you get it back on the eighth day. running out of hours. It's going to be real tight. Extremely tight. I've already worked 60 hours and I still have to have to drive tomorrow. And usually it should be okay. I don't know if it's going to be okay. Because I usually drive, you know, 10 and a half hours in my shift. And then the on-duty time, I'll just have to make sure I'm real careful with the on-duty time. And then he might just have to take over. I don't even know. Keith yeah, seems to think he has more hours, but he, he doesn't. What? What? No, that's a, no, I, I can't. I, I mean, I have to, everything, driving and on duty time, it all has to be under 10 hours. Are you gonna have enough time? Are we even gonna be able to make another turn? Let me figure this out. We're both going to make it with our hours. <laughs> it's going to be tight. He's going to have to like finish up more than he normally would on the last day. Because where we had, we drove up to Ohio and drove, it was a little out of the ordinary this week. A lot of work time. A lot of work time. So I'll run out of my 70 hour window for this week and then... He'll just have, he'll have probably have like an hour, hour and a half left in his. A lot of working. Anyway, I think, I don't know what I was talking about earlier. Oh yeah, Taylor Swift. Thank you, Taylor Swift. There was all these little girlies and their moms. You know, I can just picture them. Blaring Taylor Swift and in their big, huge soccer mom SUVs. And you know how they have like the paint? And they can write on the cars. They're like, yeah, uh, what is it? We're go on our way to shake it off with Taylor Swift. And they all said the same thing. There was like this huge caravan, I swear, like an entire middle school must have been crammed into those SUVs. No joke. Anyway, they're on I-10 and honestly they were doing pretty good. But, I mean, at this moment they were doing okay. And somebody's coming on the highway, and it was actually Denton Springs on the way into Baton, Baton Rouge. And, and somebody's trying to merge on the highway, and it's in the construction zone. And, okay, I, I'm not sure if they're including what yield means when you go to driving school anymore. But, uh, yield doesn't mean everybody on the highway has to stop and let you in. Anyway. <laughs> Apparently that's what this person thought was supposed to be happening because she just She totally was gonna ram into one of these soccer mom SUVs full of little girls and <laughs> She like sticks the bird up. I mean not just the one little bird It was like you know how people can get real animated with their hand signals and you can tell 
that they're saying something with their hand, like the whole hand gestures is having a conversation. And it was like, oh no, you didn't, kind of a thing. And they're like, when in every which direction. That's what it was like. And it, I mean, it was out there for a while. And I was like, what? Like, seriously, it's not funny. Because I see this crap all the time. This, it's not, okay. Yield does not mean the people, because I really honestly think there are ignorant people out there that have no idea what some of the basic laws are. Like, seriously, yield means if you're trying to get on the highway, you have to make sure that those people are all clear before you come in. It doesn't mean you just plow out there and just because there's a car right next to you and they're going at the right pace of traffic that they're supposed to just stop in the middle of the highway and let you in. And if they don't, then you give them the bird. That's not how this works. Anyway, poor soccer mom. I had to let her in. Otherwise, she was going to get in an accident. Anyway. I guess you call that... The, you know the Jade and John show? I love them. I watch them all the time. <laughs> anyway, they were talking... They, I forget what it was. Something happened. I don't remember what had happened. But some guy was being ridiculous and almost stopped right in front of them while they were driving. And, um... Anyway... They call it a public service announcement because I really honestly think that people have the wrong idea of, as to what's right and wrong out here, like the laws and what's courtesy. And I tell you, I get the bird a lot. Oh, I remember what it was. It was because they, they're trying to explain that how the trucks are governed. Because if you're you, if you're not a truck driver and you're looking at this, the trucks are governed, most of the trucks are governed, and what they were saying is, you know, if you got a truck that's 63 miles an hour, they can't go over, it's governed to only go 60, maximum 63 miles an hour, and you have a truck that's trying to pass that truck, and they can only do 64 miles an hour, you know, it takes, it seems like 10 years to get around them. Well, then if you throw a few, like, small hills in there, then it can even take longer. And, uh, people don't realize, you know, we're not trying to hold you up on purpose. This is just the way it is. Uh, there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, the guy in the right lane could technically slow down, but that's just, you know, anyway just takes a long time. There's really nothing you can do about it. Anyway, um, that's what she was saying, because John was driving, Jade was up, she saw it, and the guy finally got around John and got pulled over in front of him, because John had, you know, passed the other trucker, got in the right lane, and then this person that was extremely upset with him for taking so long to pass, <laughs> got in front of him, gave him the bird, and slowed down. I've had that one too. I've had that one. In fact, the main source of my birds that I get are probably either from that or um, if you're trying to pass somebody, especially four wheelers. I've only had a few trucks do it to me. But if you're trying to pass a four-wheeler and it's like, I don't know if they're not paying attention because I think most of the time they're not paying attention. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, but usually it's women that aren't paying attention. And you're trying to pass them and they're like, oh no, I won't get past my truck. And, and then so they pull up, but they either don't pull up or they don't speed up fast enough to where I can get in. Turn it off. <laughs> anyway, they don't speed up fast enough to where I can get in behind them. They don't leave. I mean, there's not a following distance, so I still have to stay in the right lane. Or, they just go just far enough in front of my bumper. So, there's, you know, or they'll slow back down once you get in behind them. And then you have to try and pass them again. And then it's this game, or and then they'll get all the way back to the rear tires. And then realize they're getting passed by this truck again. Or they'll just maintain the exact same speed. Meanwhile, I got a line of traffic 
like a mile or two long. <laughs> I wouldn't ever let it get that long, but uh, I got a line of traffic waiting. Then by the time I just get tired of messing with this person and slow down to 45 so that they can just go way down the road and get out of here because it just gets to be ridiculous, then all the people just, it, I get the, that's when I get the bird. That's the main source. Anyway, public service announcement, just like Jade and John say. Public service, and if you don't follow them, they're actually kind of cool. I like watching them. They do vlogs every day. It's a, a husband and wife couple, and they're long haul truck drivers, like Rodney and I. I'm very tired. I only have one more day. I'm sure I have dark circles under my eyes. That's what happens. Like. Sleep for me, they call it beauty sleep for a reason. Because <laughs> I look real haggard, like seriously, 10 years older. Like after a really, really long week, and if I get a really good night's sleep and I wake up at home like a whole new woman, <laughs> no dark circles. <sighs> anyway. I haven't been posting lately. I can edit some videos and get them up. They've been just kind of compiling. And I haven't had time at a funeral. That is extremely bright in my eyeball. I'm very tired. I'm going to bed.